Aquarius, let's begin. Um, I already love what I say, right? Six of Wands with the Ace of Pentacles, victory and an offer. So let's see. We might have to do some breathing exercises. Honestly, I feel like a little bit of, so I don't know if I'm picking up an energy of somebody who's highly stressed. But I'm like, okay, let's breathe. You know, breathe in, breathe out. So Aquarius, let's cut the cards and see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy this week, the most important one. And we do have the Seven of Wands, so we need to be diplomatic about, right? We do have the Seven of Wands. It is being um, standing your ground, of course, in regards to this connection, um, defending your values, but might be also, you know what? Not every fight deserves to pick up on, right? We do have the Four of Pentacles. This is the energy of opening up. Four of Pentacles, an energy of self-protection, being really focused on yourself and actually it is more of a guidance right to choose our battles and to open up in order to have joy and stability love and an offer ace of cups two of cups four of wands that is a lot of love somebody has a world of love for you aquarius we saw the tower after the, all these cups, but if uh, the, the energy comes back again, we know it's yours. But for now, you know what? Love is at your feet, but you have to choose your battles and open up. That's the main message here. And joy and stability are all yours. So Aquarius, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. You get three cards for the mutual energies. We love this. Current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have possible outcome on your side, the person you are dealing with, mutual energies. Again, you get three cards. Might be a Virgo you are dealing with, but here we do have seek love. Oh, isn't it amazing? And then you show up. Oh my God, what a beautiful energy, Aquarius. And we do have again two of cups and the six of pentacles. Well, this is a world of love for you. You do have seek love and healing, and you do have giving and receiving, and again, some more love. You have twice in the overall energy, the energy of soulmates. So this is a hell of a bond. This is a hell of a bond you have with somebody, can be a Gemini, can be a Virgo, can be an Aquarius like yourself. If not, a world of love, a world of stability, a world of joy, wisdom, and reciprocation. Wow. <laughs> um, so Aquarius past energies between, uh, well, uh, just on your side, we do have the world and we do have the temperance. Um, so this is kind of, uh, right, a, a relationship coming to an end. Um, and we had to compromise, we had to stay in balance, we had to practice um, all kinds of um, meditation, cleansing, all of energies, right? Um, all kinds of practices, because the temperance is about a lot of healing practices, but it, this is also about compromise and meeting the person, the uh, um, you know, halfway. And the world is, I, I, I don't think you had a, a much choice about it, right? Uh, one day you... you uh, woke up and, and that it was uh, knocking at your door, right? That's the world energy. This is also, of course, an energy of um, somebody walking away because they had to travel, they had to walk away from you, um, you know, for uh, work reasons and, and uh, for their own destiny of some sort. That's kind of the world. Um, and, uh, and then again, right? It took you a lot of work to get back in balance. Um, and kind of be functional. Now, oh yeah, the tower was uh, here, but it was for the person you are connecting with. Um, in the past, they do have the magician and they have the tower. Somebody manifested this. Uh, I hope you know it's like somebody putting in the work, um, you know, to uh, bring this connection to an end for reasons, right? Um... But honestly, I feel 
I feel that somebody because we do have the rebuild energy so and it's uh, paired with the manifestation card so I would say they were equally hit by this uh, tower moment by the Sunday and in the process they manifested all the good things um, this is also a combination of cards saying that this soulmate of yours um, the person you are connecting with they uh, turn to turn towards um, you know healing practices spiritual practices a little bit just like you magician and temperance right um, the magician is an energy of um, kind of pulling ropes so that um, strengths so that the situation is in their in advantage um, but not in a manipulate in not in a manipulative kind of way right it's more of you know what yeah I'll, I'll get the best out of it but I'll also give you something you know it's for everybody involved when the magician is upright so um, that is this energy actually of manifestation it's like they wanted and I know it's harsh right Aquarius and I hope you're not gonna yeah, get upset with me right but <laughs> magician is kind of intention right it's setting intentions uh, for things for fundamental changes changes you know course of life course of uh, career all kinds of, of changes major and they did that and in the process they brought a tower moment upon you and then it took a world of stress right it uh, revealed a world of stress well first of all nine of swords past energies between you and this person uh the darkest fears in your soul in your mind in their soul in their mind that they had to heal Breathing techniques with the Four of Swords, planning, strategizing, being smart about it, being detached, being cold, trying to be smart, have ideas. Um, because the Tower moment is really um, kind of um, rebuilding your life from scratch. And I believe this, uh, this is what happened between you and your soulmate. And we also have um, the Hangman. Of course, it's an energy of separation, but it is also an energy of observing, of trying to understand, trying to compromise, trying to walk a mile in their shoes, them trying to walk a mile in yours. Um, it's a, it's an energy of expansion of the mind. And paired like this, it was a learning experience. This energy combined speaks of um, learning experiences. Quite quick, right? With the curb that was quite uh, narrow. It had to happen in like in a split second. So, and both of you got smarter after this. Aquarius, I do love the energy on your side right now. We do have the Wheel of Fortune. So we are going with the flow and we have the Nine of Pentacles. That's an energy of, you know what? I'm single, but I'm good. I'm happy. I'm in balance. I don't need anything actually. I have financial abundance. I have a career. I have my family with me or, you know, that's an energy of being rock solid. And the Wheel of Fortune is the energy of I'm allowing, right? I'm opening the door um, because I know the universe takes charge of me. I know the universe will provide. We know Wheel of Fortune is about things going in your favor. It's about the universe having a plan. It's about divine timing, of course. And it's just, um, you know, that state of balance coming from the temperance. Of course, can be a Sagittarius too involved. Um, but this is an energy of perfect harmony internal harmony uh, with the nine of pentacles uh, I don't know if a divorce um, is happening right now and uh, papers and stuff we do have the justice can be Libra energy and we do have the death Scorpio energy so this person of yours uh, well they are trying um, to release and detach from the situation but this is also endings uh, with kind of administrative papers, legal papers, signing the divorce papers, so on and so forth. So um, that is this energy showing up. And this because of, I mean, it's, um, you know, we have the world, we have the tower and we have the death. I mean, we have no longer other cards saying that this was done and over with. So it's done, done, done. I'm probably picking up this and we're going to see how the energies unfold. Um, and I do want to see them one by one, you know, sometimes, you know, uh, as readers, we might say, well, I want to see the whole energy, but for me, it has a particular sense when it's one by one. And then it comes as a, 
um, as a whole message because it allows me to see if um, there are confirmations or not, you know, and if the message is confirmed in some way or it goes in, into different energies. Anyways, so that's uh, a reader stuff kind of, you know, <laughs> but that's an, another point uh, for another time. And I say that because on their side, something is done, done, done and over with. And you have new beginnings in love and a beautiful soulmate bond coming your way here. You have three cards saying that the soulmate is on his way, her way. Um, as the overall energy giving you stability, but you'll have to open up and you'll have to be smart about it. And choose your battle. So uh, however this applies to you, you know, just saying. Maybe um, um, this person coming your way in the overall energy is somebody maybe that is surprising, right? You have no idea. Maybe somebody uh, you have a bond with and you have, you know, you never thought of it as being a lover and yet they show up here with a tremendous amount of love. So, um, Aquarius, mutual energies between you and your person. We do have the devil and the two of swords. This is some hidden toxicity that is not really, um, uh, full extent shown to you um, because two of swords is um, we know the lady is blindfolded um, in self-protection mode and paired with the devil it's like let me you are the devil let me protect myself from you and they might have the same approach you're the devil let me protect myself from it uh, from you or from the situation and that is another message for somebody you know you are refusing to see that something is wrong with this something is toxic that is something that you are i don't know if uh purposely uh ignoring or it's just the universe saying please be aware you know that you are uh, closing your eyes on something or turning a blind eye to a situation that might be damaging to you uh toxic maybe not bringing the full uh reward that you want to have and so on and so forth so um, so that is that. Um, moving forward, now we have to pay attention. We do have the Three of Swords and the Three of Wands. So we are in pain, Aquarius, right? This is what I'm hearing over here. We are in pain, but we need to take the lead. I mean, we are going with the flow. We allow things. Um, maybe you are focusing on material things, surrounded by family. That is a good state of mind. Um, but if ever, right, that is pain um, heading your way with the Three of Swords, we really need to take the lead, Three of Wands. Um, this is also kind of a reassurance. You planted a seed, you know where this is going and you know the maximum that can, um, can be done or can be given to you. So with the Three of Wands. For some of you, this is a piece of advice and it's, um, it sounds like, um, why don't we keep our expectations in check? Right? Because we might get hurt because we have high expectations from a person who is unavailable to give whatever you expect from them to give. Um, because again, three of wands is expecting for ships to come home. And what if they don't? Because somebody uh, prevents them from coming from um, journeying home to you. So let's not hurt ourselves with... Um, you know, too much expectation in regards to this person. Uh, Aquarius, the person you are dealing with, we do have the moon, Pisces energy, and the two of wands. They are extremely afraid of crossroads, of path, of choices, fundamental choices. And this is a place where um, they stay in the dark and they hope for a sign to show them which way to go. This is the perfect, actually, combination of energy saying they are lost without you and at crossroads. And if somebody points them to, you know, um, towards whatever, a journey that they need to take, well, they look like this, right? Lost looking in the mirror. Um, for some of you, this is um, somebody going through anxiety, depression, um, in regards to legal affairs, rebuilding their life, in regards to descending in particular, um, in regards to changing something 180, right? And um, no, they are not good, right? Out of um, emotional balance. 
Um, mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the nine of wands. This is the wounded warrior. So we are healing slowly. We are resting and reconsidering. And I do believe you have a hell of a fight on your hands, um, Aquarius, because we have six of wands. Both of you, you want to win this. And if this is about divorcing papers and legalities, you are determined to win it and they are determined to. And eight of wands, even more passion, right? Success and growth. So somebody is fighting for their life uh, to win at whatever um, situation you have on your hands. And I agree, it's a painful one. But you got 10 cards saying you have a new love, you have a soulmate, you'll have reciprocation, you'll have wisdom coming from it if you open up. And the overall message has nothing to do with the love. The overall um, energies has nothing to do with the overall energy of the reading. The reading in itself actually tells the story of a, a marriage, probably a commitment that come, come or came to an end. And it will stay like this while the overall energy is ensuring you that is a soulmate coming. I mean, you have one, two, three, four cards of soulmates saying that you, you're good. They are coming. So you are so loved, by the way, Aquarius. I do believe somebody loves you. And you know what? I believe they love you in silence. We do have the hermit. So I'm not sure they are expressing their love just yet. So it will be a surprise. It is all here. It's, it's not one, it's a plenty, so confirmation. Um, now Aquarius, you know what? Let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do. And I just love this because you also have your own energy and it's an energy of healing, wish fulfillment, right? So surrender to complete healing. I so love this. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Yeah, we need to do some healing work, however this applies to you and whatever tool you are actually employing for this. And we have surrender denial. And it's, it's so in line with the outcome for March because we have expectations that might hurt. So maybe you expect something and now the advice is, please, please, please accept people and situation exactly as they are. Don't have expectations, right? Without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make, make the best decisions. So you might see people or situation in a different situations in a different light and you are really, um, you know, to be um, focused and clear minded about this. Surrender to the wisdom of your body. I love this. It's about intuition, right? So listen to your body's messages about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Bottom of the deck, surrender your desire to control people, Aquarius. Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. Be more eff effectively uh, sorry, to more effectively achieve your goals, back off, regroup, and give the situation some breathing room. We need to let this one go, Aquarius, because new love is coming. We need to create some space for new love, because if we keep right our life um, cluttered with old energies, this is what I'm hearing for you. Of course, you might be receiving another message, so feel free, right? Your intuition is always better because you know your your situation uh, to the T. So, hey, Aquarius, you know I love you, right? And um, this is all that I have for you today. Of course, as always, please let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.